The African National Congress has moved swiftly to replace the late Jackson Temu in Parliament. Jaume Harvard has was sworn in on Wednesday, but her appointment in Parliament was not warmly, warmly welcomed by some. Politicians and the Twitterati soon took to social media, rejecting the Chinese National's appointment. At least two MPs made unsavory comments about Harvard. Let's discuss this now, get some reaction from Erwin Pon, who chairs the Chinese Association here in Gauteng. Mr. Pon, good morning to you. You're your reaction first as a Chinese association, especially about some of the statements uh, that have been made on social media regarding the appointment of Ms. Harvard as an MP of the ANC in Parliament, some of them bordering on xenophobia. What's your comment? Good morning, Dan. Thanks so much for having me. So firstly, yes, you know, we're, we're very disappointed about uh, the comments that we see and read online and social media about this. Uh, as you mentioned, you know, uh, bordering on xenophobia, telling people, Chinese people, go back home, uh, where South Africa is our home, and, 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 and being very offensive and racist in some of them. And it's really disappointing for us because as a Chinese community, we were really celebrating and very excited about this appointment because it really recognizes that Chinese people are really part of South Africa. It recognizes our history in South Africa, which, is, which, is, which dates back to the 14th century. And some, so, people, and some people may not know a lot about that history, Mr. Pawn, because also I remember growing up during apartheid days, Chinese people were not regarded as well as what used to be called the first-class citizens. They were classified as, as non-whites as well, together with the majority of the African population. What kind of contribution would you want to highlight that the Chinese community in South Africa has made historically? Very briefly. Very so I think we're part of South Africa. We've got doctors, accountants, uh, businessmen that create jobs, that save lives in our community, that really try to uplift South Africa as our home. I'm a fourth generation Chinese South African. My family's been here for over 100 years, and we want to contribute back to South Africa. And this is a form of representation for us at the highest level, and it can be the voice for our Chinese people. As a fourth, so generation, yeah, as a fourth generation Chinese, uh, South African of Chinese ancestry or heritage, what would your message then be to the naysayers, to those currently who have gone on social media to attack uh, the appointment of Ms. Hubbard? I would say, please, we, we want to be part of the South Africa. We are here for a long time. We have our history here. And let's celebrate this diversity and, and recognize the differences and, and really uh, uh, recognize the beauty that this can bring to the rainbow nation of South Africa. Yeah. Do, yeah. do, you, think do you think the presence, presence of Jean May in, 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 in the parliament will, will, will improve, will help to improve relations between mainland China and, and South Africa, which are currently good? Do you see her playing a role to improve diplomatic ties, trade ties, which we know already are very strong? I think it will do that on that side, but I think it will also create better understanding between our communities in South Africa about the Chinese people. Let them know and understand a lot about us. I think a lot of this, uh, the naysayers, etc., is because of the lack of understanding about the people and don't really recognize that the people are also human beings that have dreams, they have aspirations. And this position really gives hope to the future of our Chinese, also here in South Africa, that we are part of this wonderful nation. Okay, thank you very much, Ewin Pon. She is the president of the Chinese Association here in Gauteng, reacting, of course, uh, to that social media backlash we saw yesterday after the governing ANC appointed Jaume Harvard uh, to replace Jackson Tembo as an MP in Parliament, appealing there for understanding and embracing our diversity.